Hello, I'm Jim Philanderers with WGNN. A ravaging blizzard is ravaging Long Island. Nemo. But not the sad little fish looking for his father. No, a massive snowstorm filled with rain, snow, and precipitation. Experts are saying people may be locked in their homes for days, weeks, or even years. We turn now to the total team coverage of one house in Long Island. We have one reporter in the front and one in the rear. Let's start in the rear with Tim Tittletoot. Thanks, Jim. Tommy Teagarden here in the backyard of Jay and Jen's house. And as you can see, the snow is falling down uh, in what we would call buckets uh, in the business. Now, I'm not going to lie to you folks. I've been recording winter or tropical storms for the last 20 years, and I have no frame of reference when it comes to snow. Um, it's going to fall. It may melt. It may stay. I don't know. Uh, the latest things we've been hearing is that there's a possible of 12 to 14 inches of snow, or as I like to call it, the size of the schlonger that's banging my ex-wife. I'm not really a big fan of letting you all know that, but if I find him in the streets, I'm going to kick the crap out of him. Now, um, the, front, the front yard reporter, Jeffrey Brotowski, is going to tell you some more stuff, but folks, this is delicious snow. Let me tell you, what you should do is get a bucket, bring it into the kitties, make some Kool-Aid up, make snow cones because there's a good chance you're going to be out of power. And what I've learned is by eating colder things, your body will actually warm up. It's a, a scientific fact that cold things make you warmer. I read that somewhere. It's good snow. I wish I had a mustache. It would make this a whole lot better, I think. Oh, what, what's up? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I thought we were actually off the air. Uh, let's go ahead and send it up to Jeffrey Brotowski with some front yard report. And it sounds like he's got an interview with a person on the street. Jeff? Thanks a lot, Jerry. This is Jeffrey Brotowski standing in front of the house. Uh, now, contrary to official reports, I'm making my own prediction here, but... I'm going to say 30 feet of snow, easy, easy today. There's not a lot of cars in the street. The plow's been coming back and forth. We got a, a gentleman over here. Uh, he's just been standing here for a few minutes, not really sure what his deal is. Let's go uh, have a little man on the street segment. All right, uh, uh, I think I've decided against the man on the street segment. I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to take a little station break here. Um, I'm sort of afraid for my life. Uh, uh, back to you, Mike. Meat! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. An axe-wielding homeless man has appeared to have slain our field reporter, Jeffrey Brotowski. I'm going to bring you the live exclusive interview right now with said axe-wielding homeless man. Axe-wielding homeless man, I know you don't have a name, so I'm just going to call you Tim. Tim, what do you think about the food shortage here during these blizzard conditions? There's no shortage here. I got my meat! Okay, so you intend to eat our field reporter, Jeffrey Brotowski. Let me ask you, what is your favorite cut of meat on said victim? Mine's the best tasting. All right, well, that's clearly disturbing and a confession, and the police department should get here as soon as possible, and possibly an ambulance. Jeff might still be alive. Wait, what's... Ladies and gentlemen, the news has just come in that Jeffrey has passed away. Uh, we here at Channel 4 mourn his loss. And our camera crew has put together this special tribute to commemorate the life of Jeffrey Brotowski. Jeffrey, you will be missed.
without cheese!